book, of course, the English translation of his book, Herbal Medicine, we'll use today, and is still a text that I keep referring to, um, more pharmaceutical, if you like, representing particularly the continental approach to the use of natural drugs. In today's seminar, the ideas of vice, particularly on the role of herbs like thyme and sundew in the treatment, particularly of cough conditions, is some of the best we'll find in any of the literature and will confirm and underpin my discovery many years ago that herbs such as sundew are some of the most remarkable remedies that one can bring to bear on particular cough conditions which are reasserting themselves today. I've been surprised over the last year or two how much of Drosera or sun, Sundew that I have prescribed in practice and I put it down to what we observe in New South Wales and particularly where I come from in the Hunter Central Coast region of a reassertion of whooping cough type conditions and Sundew um, is without doubt both in the literature, in the practitioner's information and from my own experience an unparalleled remedy in addressing coughs characterised by whooping cough symptoms. And I think we all know what we're talking about there. I'll talk about that later on, but on its own or in, in combination with, with time, there are a few herbs that I'm aware of that can be used as confidently as the backbone of a mixture to address coughs of that particular form. I hope most of you have sort of locked onto the literature and as, I've, as I say at every lecture, feel free to have a look at what I'm using. Some of it is very old stuff that I will refer to occasionally to support the major text, but try to, um, try to uh, get around you those major references. I'm impressed also of late by the text written by Mills and Bone entitled Principles and Practice of Phytotherapy. Very good text. Again, supporting the style of herbalism that, that I uh, have practiced and hope to get over to you. I've already mentioned the embarrassment that I have with the limitation of the time factor, but I'll do my best to get through this material uh, with you today. And I have again made mention even this morning that I will be dealing with those conditions that I feel we as general practitioners or complementary medicine practitioners are likely to see in practice. I'm not going to go into areas of exotic uh, 